strap, which the straps would be, and also the shoulder. The next one is going to be a spiking trap, which is, is painful. It's also it's painful, and it also maintains the trap situation. Painful? What? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, it's just, uh, not, uh, Uh, Andre is the best guy for painful. <laughs> 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 Andre is going to use a front hook on a knee. Right? <coughs> so it, it, it hurts the arm. You'll see it when it's your turn. We use what we call time pucks out. Time pucks out. Because one hand puck is not enough. He still could get hit. He's bigger than you. So Paxo is not enough. Tanso is not strong enough. Okay? But Tanso together, you can stop any hook. Guaranteed. I stopped the guy this big, that big, his hook. And he went, oh, little fucker. But he didn't hit me. So <clears throat> you go like this. Boom. Tanso. Now what we're going to do in this case is we're going to maintain the trap right here. And you're going to be kind of brave. And you're going to go like that. Boom. You're going to hit him right in the face. <laughs> this, is called, this is called ding jang. Ding jang. Mean, ding jang means... Ding, ding jang is like a jang is elbow. Ding is like when you... You know those, those big uh, logs in the... Boom! Hit the door. That, that's, that's what ding is. So you're going to go like this. Bang. Here. Now, you're going to keep this pox out. Keep it. And you're going to go, boom, and hit Brian and hit Andre in the face. And your other hand goes here while you do it. Then you're going to go like this. Okay, it comes from the Buji form. You know, Buji would go like that. You know, that thing in the Buji form. Well, it's yeah, after this, a bang like this, you're going to go, boom. And this hand is right here. And then you go like this. Hit him. That opens up his neck. And then this thing here, what's up? Goes. Chan Jan. Top rope. Okay? Yeah. So one is Tan Pak. Two is Danja. Three is Buji. Four is Chan Jan. And you can use your body too. No footwork, small step, turn your body, turn your body for more power and more length. Okay? Ready? Mario, take a foot and trap. I know you guys know this, but sometimes you don't know what's going to do. Close. You touch it off. Because it's a classic hook, there's no trap. So Mario's going to give you the function of touching the hook, hook, trap, hook, trap, lift. What I'm doing is what we call touch and go. I touch, pick up, punch, touch. Not. No. So if you touch, pick up, punch, come down. Okay, that's exaggerated. Yeah? But what I'm doing is like this. Okay? But I have to hit Mario before my foot touches the ground. So I come in, mm -hmm. bam, okay, after this, I'm going to go like this, hook, punch, hook, punch. And if I want to be a real asshole, Oh, 
Pao, Sukhum Tao. Wong Tan Pao, Sukhum Tao. Pao. Now it's tight. So, touch and go. Foot down. Foot down. Pao Sung.
right? So he's trying to doosh, doosh, do this kind of situation, right? So I want you to throw that hook at my head as hard as you can. Throw it hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's easy to block. <coughs> so what you're going to do is slowly, like this. So you're going to use what we call big joints up. Or you can use from Buji, box up, you know, the, the chunk upwards. You can do it like this. Okay? So box out or big jones out. Either one. Big jones out is this way, box out is this way. It doesn't matter. Both work. Okay. Now, you're, you're going to roll your, as much as you can. No. Okay? Yes. No. Yes. Keep your other hand here to protect your face. Just like you, G. Okay? Your G form? It's the same. So you roll out like this. Next, we're going to do this. Clamping trap, clamping trap. The leg and the hand, both. Okay? Now, what's going to happen is my opponent's going to try and hit me with the other hand. So I have to do yourself like this. All right? So the next thing I'm going to do from here I don't think I, I don't think I want to go into the. You guys want to do the leg triangle now, Mario? Or yes, okay. Should we do the leg triangle? Yeah. Now? I mean, we can. Yeah, the leg, the leg triangle mm -hmm. would be here. And choke him. Okay. We, we can do the leg triangle. Yeah, we don't have to do that now. Let's do that tomorrow. Let's just do this first. Okay. And then we're gonna wrap this up, and then we're gonna block this. Then what we're gonna do is go like this here. We're going to take this elbow and shoot. We're going to turn him over like that. Then I can break his arm or continue to punish him. So just for the effect of the clamping trap, let's do it here. In fact, you know what? Mount. Give him the mount. Make it worse. This is even worse. When the opponent is mounted and he's hooking, you're going to do the same thing okay, with the wrap. We're going to hook the arm and the foot. See how the foot is hooked? Okay. Now watch what I do next. Okay, so that's easy. Not easy, it's harder. It's worse. So, he's mounted on top of you. When the hook punch comes, roll out. Then, block that. If it comes, wrap and wrap the foot. See that? That's a hooking trap. This is a clamping trap. So I have a clamp and a hook. Then I take this foot and I put it like this, look. No. Yes. Angle, right? Then I go like this, watch. And then I go with my knee, so watch. And you have control. Okay. Mount it. Mounted. Lock. Wrap the hand and the foot. You have to have the foot too. See that? Right there? That's important. See that? That's important. Okay? Now, when you have that foot hooked like this, then you can put this foot here. No. Yes. No. Yes. Turn it at an angle. Then you can go like this. Even without the kick, see? Just your hip will do it. But with the knee, when you have the knee also, it, it goes like that. Then you can either break his arm, break his arm, continue to punch. Clamp and trap. So, all right. Mario, take it. So when Mario goes to shoot the tampons, let me need. Time block here, shoot the V, take him down, break his arm. Okay, let's do that as well. Close. Okay, close. Time 
how to pack. Now, I do what I call shoot the V. And I put my head over here so he can't punch me with the other hand. And my arm goes wide like that. Now, I do two clamping traps. I clamp the arm and I clamp the neck. Then I put my this foot behind and I bring him down. And here I can break his arm very easily. Four, punch. Two clamping traps. Time clock. Now, I have to get in here. And I put my head like over here so it's protected. I might get hit a little bit, but it won't hurt. Then I close both hands. You know what this is? So you tell? When we go one, fun, one. So here, <coughs> see how the fun Come back, right over left, isn't it? Exactly the same. I told you. Then this blade goes behind, and then I bring it down, and look. <laughs> okay, Mario, take it to it. I call it trapping reversal. And the trapping reversal is when you use the opponent's grab as though you were grabbing you. Translators? Trapping reversal? Trapping reversal that we are in the end. French translators? When you treat when you tra treat the opponent's grab as though you were grabbing him. Comme si on prenait le la trappe le blocage de l'autre comme son propre blocage. Tell you please. Enzo. Quando utilizziamo la presa dell'avversario per intrappolare lui stesso. Okay. So this is how the trap reverse. Now let's do a simple trap reversal first. Um, the simple one would be uh, let's say I punch and Mario does do so and then he grabs my hand. That would be a simple trap reversal. Okay? So when I punch and Mario grabs my hand, I go like this. Now, what I, what in this case, it's kind of okay to pull like this with your hand down. Don't turn because it'll make him let go. So in this case, I go like this. And I use his trap against him. Now, if he still doesn't let go, I would just keep punching him with his hand. If he lets go, then you continue with the other hand. But the most important thing is to understand how to use a trapping reversal. So when I punch, he grabs my hand, boom. As soon as he grabs your hand, boom. That's a simple trapping reversal. Okay? So now, it can happen, sometimes people grab your hand like this. You know, like, it might not be um, in the middle of a fight after a block, but sometimes, you know, someone might grab your hand like, like that. If they grab your hand like that, then you can use the normal South King Trap Universal. You know, with your hand turns over, it's okay. But when they grab, the normal way that most people grab would be this way. And when they grab like that, you're just going to pull your hand straight back and try not to turn it over because it makes him let go. You want him to hold on. Keep that. Like this, I'm punching with that hand. If he doesn't let go, you can keep punishing. If he does let go, you can hit him with this hand. Okay? Let's try a simple trap reversal. Just one move. So, another trap reversal you can do when your opponent holds on tight. When he does this one tight. Here, I'm done. Just going to go here. Time, reach out. So, <coughs> just, so you say, you know, sometimes you go, oh, you really want this hand? You want it? Okay, keep it. Yeah. Then once you turn your hand to time, it's so easy to knock this off. You, know, you, you can't hold it, you know. Even if it's stronger, you won't be able to hold it. So that's another way to go. It's piped out, just turn it to time, and then come in. All right, ready?